all right so uh, right now we are going to create uh, our next part which is the beam and uh, the beam uh, we are going to model it as a shell element so this is our beam and we are going to model this as a shell part so we're going to go ahead and click on create part uh, i'm going to give it a name call it a beam again this is a 3d part deformable part and the shape well it's not solid it's shell and we are going to use the extrusion option as well so we are going to draw the cross section and then we are going to extrude it in the 3d space uh, the approximate size typically uh, i like to give uh, the maximum size uh, of the beam so this is 250 in height so i'm going to give here 250 as well and then we are going to say continue so as always we are going to get the sketch the drawing sketch right now you can move the sketch by the way using the controls over here so let me just center it so this is my drawing sketch and now i need to draw my beam cross section so as we noted since this is a shell section we are going to to draw the sketch outline we are going to draw the section center line so these lines over here all right so this means that the vertical line for instance the length of the vertical line will be the depth of the beam minus half of the thickness of the flange at the top and half of the thickness of the flange from the bottom so this means i need to draw uh, since this is 10 millimeter so this means I, the depth of this line would be 240 and the flange width would be 120. so if i go back so then i can start by drawing lines just regular lines so i will draw the top flange i will not do it with the grid i will just do it with the x y coordinates much easier so this would be negative 60 and uh, this would be 120 so this is the first point yeah it looks right then we need to put the other point of the flange again i will use the coordinates so this will be 60 and uh, again uh, this would be 120 so now i have the top flange all right so now you can click escape and then you can again let's draw the second flange so the second flange again would be negative 60 as well and the y now it will be negative 120 so that's the first point and then 60 and negative 120 so this is the second point that's it and then i will draw the web so here again i can just join i have snapping here to the midpoint so i go from this midpoint of the flange to the midpoint of the flange and i'm done so that's it so this is much easier of course the shell element i just drew the center line of my section and now that i'm done i just need to click on done so i click on done now again i'm asked the same thing how much would be the extrusion in the 3d space so based on my problem the length of the beam is half a meter so that's 500 millimeter there is no twist there is no draft angle to it so it's just a straight extrusion so i click ok and now you have the beam that looks like this so now you see the difference so right now in the parts i see under parts i have two parts the beam and the column and from this drop down menu again i can access them this is the beam this is the column and you see the column it's already extruded the with the thickness and everything but the beam we just see the the plates like the center the plates as shell elements so of course we need to assign thickness to these plates which will come in the next thing that we are going to do uh, once we finish with the module uh, the part module this is when we are going to go to the property module we are going to define the cross section thickness pretty much all right, so in the next video, we are going to do the plate and we are going to do the bolt. So see you in the next video.